You are very welcome to this third lesson on the Epistle to the Hebrews from chapter 3, verse 3, through chapter 4, verse 1. Let me read the first three verses of chapter 3. Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession, who was faithful to him who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. For Jesus has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses. We are following the discourse analysis of Dr. Cynthia Westfall. In this first section of Hebrews, we are asked to consider Jesus as the apostle of our confession. In previous chapters, we dealt with let us hold on to the message that our Apostle Jesus gave to us. And now under section B, let us respond to Jesus' voice today and enter the rest. Point one, unlike the Israelites, let us respond to his voice and enter the rest. We shall deal with three subsections under this point, which include we are Jesus' house, as the Israelites were Moses' house. And point B, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as the wilderness generation did. Because Moses' followers did not enter the rest because they lacked faith. And then lastly, let us be afraid lest any one of you may miss the rest. Of course, we must deal with what is the rest. For that, we ask you to see the vocabulary document at the website. As we scroll down and come to the term rest, we read a definition from the Arndt and Gengrich Greek-English lexicon. Rest is a state of cessation of work or activity especially of rest associated with the seventh day of creation, basic meaning being a place of rest, that is, where one rests and lives, namely, at home with one's family. In verses 5 and 6 we read, Moses was faithful in all God's house as a servant to testify to the things that were to be spoken later, but Christ is faithful over God's house as a son, and we are his house if indeed we hold fast our confidence and are boasting in our hope. Again, we invite you to visit the website and read through the definitions of the important terms in this passage. Regarding the conditional sentence, if indeed we hold fast our confidence, we invite you to see a chart provided at the website on five classes of Greek conditional sentences and the grammar that lies behind them. For our purposes in this discussion, however, we will assume the third class condition, which basically teaches that this is potentially true for all who hold fast their confidence and their hope. To better understand this text, we have to resort to the history that lies behind it. There is direct reference to Israel's rebellion against Moses during their wilderness journey from about the 15th century BCE. And it was the Lord himself who spoke about Moses as my servant. He is faithful in all my house. Thus we know we're dealing with God's house and then the promise of a remaining rest from Psalm 95, apparently composed by King David, dating from the 8th century CE, meaning that today lasted some seven centuries. And in fact, the same promise was still true when the Jewish Christian movement of the 1st century CE was met with governmental opposition to illegal religions. We know that the epistle to the Hebrews was composed in very fine literary Greek. Although the Greek text of the epistle to the Hebrews 
has been well preserved through history. Nevertheless, in some manuscripts, careless scribes sometimes would make copying errors. One of these in verses 17 and 18 of chapter 3 was to swap the terms disobeyed and sinned or disbelieved in place of disobeyed. The meaning remains the same. As you read through Hebrews 3.3 3 through 4.1, we ask you to be aware of certain basic Christian doctrines that were already current in the first century. One was that of God's call to believers based on the sonship of Jesus Christ and the role of the Holy Spirit in inspiring and giving authority to Holy Scripture. Already, Christians understood that God had promised them an eternal rest in a restored heaven and earth, and that this salvation is assured by faith alone to those who retain their faith. Thus, your assignment has two facets. Your homework consists of reading through Hebrews 3, 1 through 4, 1, once a day this week in different translations. You may use those available at netbible.org. As you do so, please jot down notes and queries that you want to discuss in your Bible study group. Lastly, if you do any kind of pastoral work, we ask you to meet with your coach or with those whom you coach and talk together about ways in which to assure believers of their salvation by faith alone. If you wish, you may join with many of us Thursday mornings from 7.30 Pacific Time for a discussion of this passage live streamed on YouTube in the Powellhurst Men live stream channel. We hope you see us there.